What's up everyone, Namecos here. Week eight is upon us. We're basically halfway through Dustin. So FanDuel, I'm back. Sorry I missed you last week. Oh, you know, hopefully you played some games, hopefully you did well. And if you're not doing well in your season long leagues, click on the link in the description below. Make sure you sign up for FanDuel. Make sure you sign up to get into our Beat the Experts game. Last time I played, I came in second. I'm going for first this week. And what I'm doing is picking some of these guys, not all of them, but I think these are good value plays. And then I'm pairing them up with some studs to see how we do. So the first value play I got for week eight is Mr. Crowell of the Jets. $6,000 only. Who else is going to be touching the rock out there? I think he's going to get 20 plus touches, all that he can handle. You know, the Jets are playing, you know, with the Jets playing the Chicago, I understand it's a little bit scary, but Crowell, volume, you got to love it. So talent plus opportunity that we always say that's what makes fancy gold. And he's not that bad. He's pretty talented. He's just been on bad teams. He's going to get all the opportunity he can handle this week. Absolutely love Crowell. Making my 50-50s, making my head-to-heads, making my tournaments. He's in all my leagues. All right, Raheem Mostert. This is the next guy on the list for the 49ers. 5,600 bucks. Think Barrett is going to be out with that happening. San Francisco is playing Arizona. He looks much better than Alfred Morris. So he's going to get a lot of touches in that Shanahan offense for 5,600, 6,000 for Crowell, that is a nice one-two running back pair for me. And then I can load up elsewhere. But if I don't believe in those running backs, that's fine. Believe in some of these wide receivers. The first one's Crabtree. He's not hes not a tournament play. He's a 50-50 play because he is going to return the investment of $6,300. Why I know that is he's getting 10 targets on average a game in the last three weeks. Baltimore's playing Carolina. There's no reason to think that he won't get 10 targets again. He'll put up like 14 points if he finds the end zone, even more. So... 6300 that's a good deal for Crabtree. Another good deal is Mr. Funches for Carolina. Carolina's in that Baltimore game, obviously. That's who they're playing. $6,400. He's had touchdowns in back-to-back -back games, three on the year, and he's a big body that Cam Newton is liking to find. So Funches and Crabtree, again, are two guys that I'm pairing up and then putting studs across the board. All right, as we move over to quarterback, Dustin, I got your boy. What can I say? Trubisky, I'm all about the Bears-Jets game, apparently. 7700 bucks. 33 points, 28 points, 43 points is what he has done the last three weeks. Ridiculous numbers. So based on his three-week average, he's one of the top quarterbacks, and he's certainly not being priced that way at 7,700. And I'm not too scared of the Jets' defense, not going to lie. As we move over to tight end, a guy that I've liked a lot, you know, I've always said he's going to come around, and that's Njoku for the Cleveland Browns. Looks like it's finally happening, especially if you got him in season-long leagues. Hope you held on to him. And if you didn't, pick him up in FanDuel this week. 5,700 bucks, Cleveland against the Steelers. He's been getting, on average, nine targets again the last three weeks. I heard the fantasy gurus, I was listening to the radio saying lock for 12 targets. I agree. I don't think a lock for 12, but I think between 9 and 10 seems very realistic. And for 5,700, that is a steal. Defense was not easy this week at all. So I am not thrilled with this pick, but I'm going with the Detroit Lions. 3,700 bucks. They're very cheap. They're playing Seattle. They're at home. So Seattle has to travel. I think they're just an interesting play this week. The Seahawks haven't looked great, but again, I'm probably paying up for defense. But if you don't want to, maybe it's the Lions. So again, make sure you get into our game. Click on the link, get into the game. You know, play the experts. And if you have any questions, post them here. I try to answer these first, and then I move over to the uh, to the to the ranking show that Dustin and I do. So if you want to answer some questions from Mr. Nameco, post them down below. That was a terrible hand movement. I'm out on that. Peace. Happy Halloween, almost.